G'day folks, welcome to another Cyclone Chasers Queensland Daily Weather App today, the 7th of March 2023. My name's Chris Nitto, this update brought to you by our major sponsor, TownsvilleSheds.com. Check them out if you're in the market for a shed safe accredited shed. We've got a low pressure system located this morning right on the Queensland NT border, right on the Gulf Coastline. That system's expected to move in a south to southeasterly direction very, very slowly over the next 24 to 48 hours, driving very heavy rainfall into northwest Queensland. You can see just how tremendously large that rain area is across northwest Queensland already that rain area will be further in, enhanced as that low pushes in that direction. You can see an area of convergence coming onto the coastline around northeast tropics around that Ingham to Townsville district. You can see quite a few showers in that Townsville to Bowen region as well and a few showers and isolated thunderstorms coming onto the coastline around the northern Cape York Peninsula. Outside of that there's a fair bit of cloud cover coming off this uh, deep convective stuff going on across the Gulf Country, and that's providing us with a bit of light patchy rain through central Queensland. That too will increase over the next 24 to 48 hours, and some very isolated convective activity expected across the southern interior today. Rainfall till 9 o'clock this morning. We had tremendous rainfall just to the south of Cairns yesterday. Falls in the 100 to 200 millimetre range, very close to the coast between Cairns and Innisfail. Since that time, uh, overnight tonight, overnight last night into this morning, we've seen that rainfall spread further southwards. We've seen some heavy falls between Cardwell and Ingham this morning. Uh, Sings Farm there, 104 millimetres. And you can see these uh, rainfall totals just starting to increase between Ingham and Towns on the last couple of hours as well. Obviously, the big talking point is the Gulf of Carpentry area and it will be also the northwestern parts of the state in the next 24 hours. Burketown itself 173 millimetres and once again isolated and cut off as as has been Norman and Corumba for quite some time. And you can see there's quite a bit of rain extending southwards already. Gregory Downs 89 and down here Floraville 66. So that will further increase further southwards as well and over larger areas in the next 24 hours. Just a reminder, these updates only look at the next 24 hours. If you're interested in times further ahead, head over to join.ozcyclonechasers.com.au, check out our subscription options, support our work, and find out what's coming in the next week or two. Right, so as I mentioned, that low is going to be relatively slow moving around the Gulf of Carpentaria's coastline, pushing in a general south or southeasterly direction over the course of the day, but very, very slowly and into tomorrow morning. It should be located somewhere around or just inland of the southern, southern to southeastern Gulf coastline. So it would have moved basically about 100, maybe 150 k's if it's trying to motor along uh, towards the south or southeast compared to where it is this morning. The expectation across the northeast coast, you would have noticed there's still a bit of squeezing going on here between that northwest and east northeasterly flow through the day today and that uh, will enhance the shower activity on the north on the Herbert Burdington coastline. Outside of that we're going to gradually see that decrease, that squeezing effect decrease and generally a northerly humid airflow pattern developing across large areas of eastern Queensland and that'll help to spread the moisture further southwards as the week goes on. Right, so clearly the focus is in northwest Queensland, the Gulf Country today for heavy rainfall associated with showers, th thunderstorms and general widespread ascent of air. We can also see some convective activity through the northern interior. Quite clearly the shower activity is likely to peak between Tully and Bowen, particularly between Tully and Air. Uh, the expectation is that that area will continue to maintain lots of showers throughout the day, lots of breaks in between, but lots of showers throughout the day. As we go into tonight, you can see a continuation of widespread convection and widespread rainfall, not just necessarily convective rainfall, widespread rainfall across northwest Queensland. We will start to spread some of that heavier falls further southwards and you'll notice once again overnight tonight some heavy shower activity redeveloping on the coastline around northeast Queensland, particularly between uh, Ingham and uh, Bowen or Ingham and the Whitsundays. As we progress through into tomorrow you can see significant rainfall once again across northwest Queensland. Parts of the Cape will also see some squally showers and thunderstorms. The monsoon is on its last legs and it will weaken later on in the week but that's a topic for a discussion for for another day. Rainfall between now and tomorrow morning quite clearly and I think this might be even underestimating rainfall across northwest Queensland. I suspect we'll see some falls up to about 200 millimetres in pockets of this section of the state. Uh, we will start to see some heavier rainfall beginning to spread into central inland Queensland by tomorrow morning as well and you'll notice this little area here between Tully and the Whitsundays seeing quite a bit of shower activity particularly uh, Tully to Towns all this morning and then expanding and spreading further southwards uh, this evening tonight and early tomorrow. Outside of that, we've got a scattering of showers and isolated thunderstorms coming onto the Cape from the monsoon and up through the Torres Strait and into the far northern Coral Sea. And this little isolated high-based convective activity down here in southern Queensland, not too interested in that. But there will be some isolated falls around the place. Thanks for watching this video. I'll talk to you tomorrow.